that allow us to do the glass work. Okay, now we're just going to do a trial fit on the tunnel, make sure we've got a nice tight but smooth fit. We put the tube through the boat. We're going to make our marks for where we make the flare from 12 o'clock to 6 o'clock here in the forward part of the boat. And that's how the water is deflected around that so it doesn't run in the tunnel. The reason why we put these marks on the tunnel is it's easier to work on it out of the boat by cutting it with the saws off. Then we're going to reinsert the tunnel by these marks here. Okay, we just finished making up some putty. We're going to use that to make uh, a fairing here to deflect the water to make it come back here instead of running the tunnel. Now the putty that we just mixed up, we're going to go ahead and start our fairing. Okay, now we're just going to putty inside, fill the gaps around the tunnel and the hull uh, prior to fiberglassing. Oops. Now we went ahead and we filled out the the bow of the boat portion of the tunnel the forward portion on both sides we made our flare this is going to deflect the water to make it past the tunnel hole as the boat's moving in a forward motion now we're going to go clean it up prep the area so we can start laying uh, six layers of fiberglass out here and six layers inside we're rolling all the air bubbles out right now we're trying to get it smooth so it takes form to the area we just prepped out. Very important to get the air out and the excess resin. At this point our tunnel is, is in the boat um, and now we're at the process of we're going to be fitting our fitting our gear leg. Okay, First thing we're going to do is we're going to go down and we'll measure our holes on top of our tunnel. This is our saddle that fits on top of our tunnel. It's your motor mount bracket. Okay, we're going to mark, mark our holes for your gear leg to pass through from the outside in the tunnel. Okay, and we'll mate that with our mounting bracket. To that, we are then going to fit our electric motor. Okay, we also mount our oil bottle and our hose. Okay, basically that allows our oil pressure to our gear leg to offset the water pressure outside. Once that's in place, it's very simple. All we're doing is hooking up our battery cables, our, po our negative and our positive cables to the motor. Going to connect that to our battery disconnect and plug in our harness, which is all a plug and play system. So everything just plugs right in and you're good to go. Basically, we're going to turn on our battery switch and then power up the system and everything should be live and that that's basically the installation very very simple once the once the units in place uh.